Good morning, Ryan Delzell here with CarmelValleySanDiegoHomes.com bringing you a update at the halfway point here in 2010 for our local market. Uh, I'll share with you some nerdy stats but uh, more importantly let you know what that really means for you in, in the market and where I see us headed over the, the rest of the year and into 2011. So far 2010 has been a great year for Carmel Valley Real Estate. Uh, as opposed to the same time period last year, in the first six months we've had already 331 sales. Last year that was 244, so that's a 35% increase this year. So clearly the recovery is well underway for, for uh, 92130. Prices, uh, looking back to last year, are pretty flat, uh, even though sales have come up quite a bit. Same thing for market time, uh, flat again right around two months market time for the average home that's selling in Carmel Valley. Uh, prices have been around 97% of the list price, uh, the actual sales price, which is a strong ratio. Uh, there's been much made about the distressed sales in Carmel Valley, uh, or San Diego in general, but again, real estate is local, so you've got to really look at what's happening in the local market. Carmel Valley uh, over the last year has seen about 24% of the sales have been distressed sales. By that I mean short sales, REOs. Uh, and in comparison with the county, San Diego, San Diego has over the last year had about 48% of the sales be distressed sales. So clearly our local market here, Coastal North County, has been much more stable than the county as a whole and, and even the nation. So uh, if we look at prices, we do see prices have come all the way back to about 2003. Uh, and and uh, a recent article uh, put out by Case Schiller on, on their index showed that San Diego is actually one of the bright spots in the country in terms of uh, that index. We've come up nicely over uh, last year, about a 12% increase. San Diego has actually had 13 straight months of gains there. So. While San Diego is one of the first markets to come under pressure, it's also been one of the first in the country to come back nicely in this recovery. Uh, where I see us headed from here, inventory is climbing, which is uh, somewhat predictable over the summer months. We've also had a lot of people see the success uh, that other sellers have had in the first half of the year, and that's encouraged them to put their homes on the market. Uh, the inventory, especially at the detached price, uh, homes, has increased uh, over the last few weeks and uh, we see that continuing over the summer. I think we're headed for a bit of a summer lull in terms of activity now that the tax credits have expired. There will likely be again some more activity after the kids go back to school uh, which is uh, expected and, uh, and then some renewed buyer interest as we go into 2011. Uh, so it's definitely a market where it, sellers need to be very careful about putting a home on the market uh, for the right reasons. They should be serious about selling. Buyers have, it's a great buyer's market. If, if buyers are in a position to, to buy right now, interest rates are at uh, historic lows, uh, likely going to stay low for the rest, the rest of the year, uh, which again is great for buyers. Sellers, if you have a property that is well positioned, got a great location, views, upgrades, uh, we're seeing those homes sell pretty quickly even even in a market where the inventory is up. So that's uh, the, the update for the first half. If you want more information, please log on to www.carmelvalleysandiegohomes.com. You can get weekly market updates, uh, full MLS search, free buyer and seller reports, schools and community information and news. So thank you very much. Ryan Delzell with carmelvalleysandiegohomes.com.